Wanderlust and welcome back to another sit down video. Another day, another vlog. If you are new here to my channel, I am Nika Wanderlust and I am a Filipina currently living here in Norway. So before you close this video, please don't forget to leave some comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Nika Wanderlust, and click the bell button to get more video updates about travel and culture experiences and the way of life here in Norway. So for today's video will be about typical Norwegian foods that you can buy in a supermarket here in Norway. I highly recommended this video for those people who are, you know, uh, planning to move or visit Norway and thinking about where to or what, you know, to eat in Norway. Whenever I go on a solo travel, I always uh, try to find foods on a grocery store, on a local supermarket in that country. And because I know I can save a lot of money and I am actually a cheap solo traveler. So, okay, we all knew that it's very expensive to eat at a restaurant here in Norway, especially if you want to try some typical Norwegian foods. Let's say in Oslo, you know, it's the most expensive seat in Europe and I think I kind of read that it's the worst to eat meat because it's so expensive. So I decided to make this video for those people who you know wanted to try some typical Norwegian foods that might be only available in Norway and you know, find in a local grocery store. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the typical Norwegian food that you can buy in a supermarket in Norway. It's not cheap guys, it's not also expensive, it's an affordable price. I recommended this for those who are traveling to Norway. So if you are moving or visiting Norway, this is the right video for you. So you will have uh, some ideas about what are some of Norwegian foods that you should try when you come here to Norway. Which you can buy in a local supermarket like Kiwi, Mani, Kuop, Extra, Rematusen. Okay, I just want you to know that I am not a food expert or something, you know. I just want to share my experience with this Norwegian foods. The first one on the list is the brown cheese or brunos in Norwegian. You know, if you visit Norway, I'm sure, you know, most people always comes up with brunos more often than anything else because this is Norway. This is very traditional Norwegian food. And, you know, you can purchase it in all local supermarkets in Norway. They have small or large packaging. I am not really sure what it is made of, but it's really good and it's like caramel taste for me. The trick is to not think of it as a cheese. If you are expecting to taste a fine cheddar cheese, you know, you will find the taste more intense. But if you expect to taste a creamy caramel yet also savory mixture you're in a treat for that brunos i actually fell in love with brown cheese the first taste i have it they have different types of brown cheese and most commonly manufactured by tina this is a norwegian dairy company that you know produce different dairy products in norway so basically all of norway so, by the way, for tourists who doesn't have the Ustehovele or what we call the cheese slicer, you know, you can buy the small pack of Brunus or brown cheese that, you know, is ready to eat. So, don't forget to grab your brown cheese when you visit Norway. And the next one on the list is the caviar and other foods in Chum. Okay, the first time I came in Norway and I checked all those uh, Norwegian supermarkets, I have no idea what are these food on a tube, on the fridge, where, you know, I can use this or how can I eat this? I am really shy to ask that time because, you know, there's plenty of choices from the, chel from the shelves. In the Norwegian supermarket, you will uh, actually find different types of food in tubes, from cheese to caviar. Uh, it's a very popular choice for Norwegians and the rest of Scandinavia, I guess. So caviar, by the way, is a smoked cod roll, which is creamed, then pumped into tube, and it's basically a sandwich spread. So I think it was invented, uh, so you can bring it anywhere for breakfast, lunch, brunch. You know, whenever you go to a mountain, you pump it on the top of your bread, and it's 
actually very convenient. That's why uh, these tubes are very popular in Norwegian matpake or lunch boxes because of their portability and lack of mess. By the way, caviar has a very strong salty flavor and it like strong smell. So you have to bring some mints or gum after eating it. In addition to caviar and tube, there are also numerous varieties of soft cheeses. So the next one on the list is the mackerel. I would tell you this is the best ever sardines I've ever tasted. Seriously, you know, for someone like me who grew up in a country where we have a lot of canned tuna or sardines, actually, the Norwegian mackerel is the best. Serious, I, I am very serious about it. There is something in this sardines that will, you know, make you crave for it. Plus, you can only find these sardines in Norway. I guess because some of my friends outside Norway, whenever I'm visiting them, they will always ask me to bring a lot of this mackerel. And I also remember the first dinner I had in Norway is this tabur mackerel. I'm not sure if I do it right. I always include this on my meal at least once a week. Plus for me, it's cheap. So as an Asian living in Norway, you know, I warm it with eggs and rice. So basically the stubborn mackerel is a fish fillet on a tomato sauce. But you know, usually in Norwegian way, you open it and then you can put it on the top of your bread for breakfast, lunch or dinner brunch. We all knew Norway is very famous for its fishing industry, which is associated with salmon and sardines. So you must try this when you visit a local supermarket in Norway. Just look for, you know, this yellow package with an image of a fish on it. The next one on our list is the room migrod. I think this is typically served on Christmas or Setende Mai, the national day of Norway. But you can find it on a local supermarket in Norway the whole year. This is one of my favorite because this is basically a Norwegian porridge. And this is very good, especially in cold weather. It's perfect. I think most Norwegian will put a salt de meat on the top of it. But I just prepare it with butter and cinnamon on the top of it. Like, OMG, this is really tasteful. You just warm it and it's ready to eat. It's perfect for winter. And the next one, of course, is the pulsa. Of course, favorite of almost every kid in Norway is pulsa, 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 pulsa everywhere. This is the Norwegian sausage. If you go to a convenience store, you'll find different pulsa. If you attend a, a kid's birthday party in Norway, they will serve you pulsa. If you celebrated the 17th of May, there will be a lot of Pulsa, and if you visit a local supermarket in Norway, you can find a pulsa in a, a package. And I was actually shocked that most kids in Norway, they just ate this pulsa in pack from the fridge. Yes, they never warm it. They just ate it right away. Actually, my husband loved a gold pulsa and he never wanted to warm it. So I was like, it's kind of weird because I grew up in Kenya. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe that is something very Asian, I guess. And the next one on our list is Fiske Kake, Fiske Boleri, Fiske Peener. So this is all made from fish. Fiske Kake basically means fish cake. Fiske Boler uh, basically means fish bowl. And Fiske Peener is fish in sticks and it's like nugget. I highly recommend this for kids because I think most kids in Norway love this Fiske Kake, Fiske Boler or the Fiske Peener. So you just try them in a pan or I mean you fry them in a pan or oven and it's actually ready to eat. As you know what I mentioned before, Norway is very famous for fishing industry so the ingredients of this fiske kake, fiske boller, fiske peener are fishes. I am not really sure what uh, kind of fish, but it may be various like herring, catfish, cod. You just have to try it yourself. I'm not really sure what it is made of. <laughs> the next one on the list, it's not uh, basically a food, but it's like very Norwegian and you can find it in a Norwegian store, local supermarket. And is the quick lunch. Basically, it's a quick lunch. So if you think 
of KitKat. It is actually the same figure, but Quick Lunch is way much better and tasteful than KitKat for me. It's four crispy biscuit covered with milk chocolate, and you know, most Norwegian they always bring it on you know when they go on a hike on a ski so when you just visit a local store in norway just grab for your quick lunch if you're really hungry it is very traditional norwegian that i think you can only find this in norway and some part of scandinavia so yeah this is also my favorite so grab yours now and i think that will be for today because there's actually a lot a lot of super as in a lot of norwegian Typical Norwegian food that you can try and discover when you visit a local supermarket in Norway. So, what is your favorite on our list? Comment down below. And if you are new here or you are from Norway, you are welcome to share your favorite Norwegian foods that can be found on a local supermarket. This is Nico Wanderlas. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get more video updates about, you know, travel culture experiences and the way of life here in Norway. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Have a nice day. Bye!